Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is JJ and I'm very glad you're here. I'm a writer, reader, suspense nerd, um, generalized nerd, I guess. I've called myself that in the past and I feel like that's effective. I play tabletop RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder um, and I'm also getting into gaming. I just bought myself a VR headset. I'm really excited about that. Um, I've been working my way through other more other video games, just normal video games. Like I just finished Portal 1 and 2 for the second time, but the first time on my own system. Um, and I'm still working my way through Undertale. No spoilers, please. This is a spoiler-free zone. I know almost nothing about the game and I want to keep it that way um, until I finish. <laughs> and then we can talk as much as you want. But for right now, spoiler-free zone. Always. Or, otherwise, I will say that this is a spoilery video, right? Um. All that to say, I am looking forward to some certain things coming in 2021. Things such as the Loki TV show coming from Disney Plus and the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show coming from Disney Plus. Those were what I was looking forward to last year. And since they got delayed, I'm still looking forward to them now. Um, I'm also looking forward to hopefully getting access to new seasons of Doctor Who. I haven't watched any of the 14th? Capaldi was 13, so yeah, I haven't watched any of the 14th Doctor. I've watched some of hers, but other than that, I'm, I feel like I'm missing out because I'm missing out. So I want to I wanna, I wanna watch that. Um, I'm looking forward to hopefully keeping up with the newest season of Doctor Who um, with the new Doctor. I know that just started and I need to figure out how the heck I'm going to watch that one. Um... I love being an American without access to BBC One or BBC America. <laughs> um, let's see, what else am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to all sorts of things, like Black Widow, that's going to be an, a movie that happens. <sighs> Natasha is one of my favorites and I love her. <laughs> Simply put, she makes me happy. Some of my goals for this year include writing a standalone novel. Um, recently I've been working on a series. As you know, if you've been around here for a while, I write crime suspense. And I've been working on a four book series. I'm almost done with the fourth book. There's lots of edits that have to happen though, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine. Anyway, um, but I want to write a standalone novel this year. Um, I think that would be an interesting challenge to see if I can actually create a story that is entirely condensed into one entity, I guess. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want it to be connected to the series or not. If you like those sorts of things, uh, let me know down below and contribute to to all of the, de the debate in my head. Give me reasons why things should be connected and reasons why they should actually be fully standalone and so on and so forth. Um, Skulligan and I, this is Skulligan, I finally named him last week actually. <laughs> um, Skulligan and I have lots of planning and plotting to do. I'm very excited though. He will be quite helpful in all of my writing processes. Pro processes? Processes. As I write more books. What else am I looking forward to? Books are coming out this year. Um, I would show you my copy of Dear Hero. It's downstairs though, so I... I it's fine. You've seen it before. I'll put the cover here. Um, Dear Hero has a sequel coming out called Dear Henchman. That'll be out sometime this year. I'm super excited for that. Um, also, one of my other friends has a book coming out. Well, same same friend, but just one of them rather than the two of them. Um, she has a fantasy trilogy coming out, the first book coming out soon-ish, again in this year. I have been waiting for this book to come out since I read it and critiqued it when we were in college together. Um, it's so good and I cannot wait to actually tell you more about the title and the characters and <laughs> I'm excited. All that to say, um, keep an eye on Alyssa Rote. She's going places and doing things and it's great. Um, she also has another series coming out with Hope Bollinger. Um, they're writing an adult sweet romance series. 
if you've been around here before, you know I'm not a huge fan or proponent of romance. Um, but if you like romance, you'll have to go check out theirs, um, their series coming out. I'll let you know when those things happen as they happen because I'm not, I, I'm incapable of not talking about my friend's books. I feel like that sort of sums up what I know of, but I'm sure going forward that there will be more that I'm really excited about and can't, can't contain my excitement about to tell you about. Um, so let's talk goals, right? Obviously, I want to, I want to write a standalone novel. I want to get back into reading for fun. I think it would be really cool to reread Percy Jackson. That's, that's on my TBR reread list for 2021. Um, obviously, I still have my own reading challenge that I create every summer, um, that I'm working my way through. I haven't been reading a whole lot recently, so there's, I haven't made much progress on that, but that's still there. Um, I still have books on there that I plan on reading. Um, I am also getting into cosplay, which is super cool. So soon-ish, maybe, um, I might be able to show you some of my cosplays. I recently, just in this last week or two, posted a short story called The Ruby Pendant um, about a character named Amber on my blog. I have a cosplay created for Amber and I have photos of that and I'm very excited to show you that as well. Um, I think this year going forward, looking at my YouTube channel and where I want to go and what I want to do, there might be some changes um, in terms of the things that I talk about. Obviously I'll still be talking about writing, I'll still be talking about reading, I'll still be talking about books. Um, that aspect isn't going anywhere, but I'll probably also be introducing some cosplay aspects um, because I think that would be fun. Anyway, um, so that's some of the stuff that I kind of have planned for this year. Like I said, most of it isn't going away. Um, I'll still be talking about books. You'll still see this bookshelf behind me most of the time. Um, 90% of the time, probably. <laughs> but I just, I think it'd be kind of fun to let you into other aspects of my creative life. Um, talking about how I plan for Pathfinder sessions, because I'm now a DM. Um, essentially, I'm the one who creates the world and the people that my players can interact with. I have really enjoyed getting into DMing and other gaming aspects. This is part of my creative energy that I've only really been able to start exploring more recently, and I would love to bring you into that. Um, so I might be doing, depending on how confident I feel. I might even create some like video game type content just for funsies. Um, I don't know if you'd be interested in that. Let me know down below. And it, it, all that to say, the channel is still going to be here. It's still going to be me. I'll still be talking about this stuff too. Um, but I wanted to bring you into the other things that I'm enjoying because it's more fun that way. So until next time. I'll see you then. Let me know what kind of stuff you would love to see me try, um, or if you have any favorite video games that you think I would enjoy, um, or if, again, if you have any favorite books that you think I would enjoy, um, or if there's something that you're like, wow, it'd be really cool to see someone make this for a costume. I don't tend to use um, patterns. I tend to look at pictures and then be like, okay, so I need this, this, and this in order to make that, and then I just kind of go for it. So if you're looking for um, a chaotic creator when it comes to sewing like that, I think I'm probably your girl. I think I drive some people a little crazy. Like, I text one of my friends all the time when I'm like, hey, do you think this would work? And she's like, I don't know, I'd have to hold it. And I'm like, well, I, do, do you think it would work? And we, we go back and forth. Um, all that to say, Content on here might change a little bit, but I also, this stuff isn't going away, so. Until next time, I'll see you then. Make sure to go check out my short stories um, and my website, and if you're interested in hanging out or asking me questions in a one-on-one -on -one scenario, um, I also have consultations that I run. You can learn more about that on my website at authorjjhannah.com. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye!